Hello there and welcome to the new tutorial where I will show you how you can download and install PyCharm in your Mac system. So I am in a MacBook Pro and uh, I have opened the browser Safari as you can see and uh, I have just entered within the Google uh, PyCharm. So once you enter the PyCharm, you get the JetBrains website. So JetBrains is basically the company which has uh, develop this PyCharm integrated development environment for uh, doing the development of Python. So if we want to download and install it, uh, since this is a preferred choice of many programmers because it provides a complete environment which you need for the development and how we can do that. So I'm going to tell you how you can download it for free. You have two different versions. One is a trial, another is the free version and then uh, set up it into the, into the Mac uh, by installing it. All right, so if I click it over here, you will see that I am on the JetBrains website in the PyCharm. And now I will click on download. So I have this Mac OS option, Windows option and Linux. So since we are in Mac, all right, what it is showing us cookies, all right, that's fine. So for the Mac OS, uh, we have these uh, professional edition, which is a trial version. It is the complete PyCharm and has lot many flexibilities as compared to this one, which is community only for pure Python development. All right. So if this is what we need for Python development, then I will going to download, click on the download, or you have this option of .dmg Intel. So I'll just click on the download and it will start the download in a minute. In the download, it will start this and here it will going to take some time to download because the file size is big uh, around 502 mb and it will going to take few more seconds so as soon as this is uh, done i will come back for for me and now i'm just pausing a video for a minute all right so here i have uh, downloaded it and here is some screencast my con the screen recorder is asking some features. Let me work on that for a minute. All right, so that's all. Now let's come to the PyCharm. So once we double click over here, you will see that PyCharm will start opening up that .dmg file for us, which is useful or needed to install it into the Mac. So now what we just need to do is bring this over here in the application by dragging it. Right, that's all what we need to do, and then we should be all done. All right, so that sometimes it gives me and show this mouse pad. So let me just try it one more time. Yep, now it is coming properly. So this will start the processing as you can see, um, and uh, start the installation. So all right, I have the window in front of me, but if it is not coming for you after dragging it into the applications, then what you can do is go into this application launchpad and click on this PyCharm CE, and then this window will come to you. If it is not coming automatically, then you need to just confirm and click on continue, data sharing, don't send, and then the PyCharm will be coming over here. All right, so now the PyCharm is in the, within our system and what we just need to do is click on this new project to start doing the work in python before i show you uh, other than this you have the option to customize like the color theme the font and uh, key map what do you need you can change it the plugin if you are looking for any additional plugins you can find it here if you want to learn pycharm in more detail there is this help getting started demos and screencast key map reference and tip of the day. So start learning is also a very interactive learning within uh, PyCharm itself. So what you can do is when you click over here, it will start guiding, have a guided tour of the application like you may have seen in other application where they ask you to click one, one option, then another option, then another option. It's like a guided tour. Click by click, you just go ahead and understand about this entire Python IDE. All right. So for now, what I'll do is click on the new project here. You need, it will ask you the location of the new project. Let's give it a name as test new environment using the virtual environment. It's fine. What is the base interpreter is 2.7. 
if you have more like i have three i have two uh you can select that so i will just go ahead with the whatever is the default and create a main.py welcome script if you want you can for now i will just leave it as a default and click on create so it will do the all the background settings in the back end it will show you the tip if you don't want this tip every time you will click here don't show the tip and close so i suggest you know it's always a good idea to get a tip you never know which tip may be very useful for you so you just expand this and here you have the main directory the test directory or the project directory where you can right click and cl go to new and click on the python file and call it maybe hello world is isn't it the one we create every time whenever we start learning the program so what we need is print hello world your first python program and then what you do is right click and run hello Pro world also you have the shortcut where by which you can also run so once you run you will get the output over here just a simple print of hello world so from here your journey starts i hope you will find it very useful the pycharm ide for your development if you have any question you let me know in the comments i will answer to to your queries and questions that you have related to this so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video the new topic